The Xbox is getting a new browser. Let's take a look at it. If you have used the browser as it exists today with an asterisk on your console, you will know that it is, it's just not good. And honestly, I can't even remember the last time that Microsoft significantly or honestly seriously updated that browser in any meaningful capacity. The edge that exists today on your Xbox console, it's bad. There, it's just not a good experience, but there's good news on the horizon as this week, Microsoft started testing a new Edge browser on the console. Now, I say new Edge and then there's old Edge. Let's just define the difference here. So there's legacy Edge, which is built on the Spartan browser, which is what originally shipped with Windows 10 and it is dead. It is gone. Microsoft is no longer, no longer I was going to say, supporting it, but technically they're still supporting it a little bit. Anyways, it's gone the way of the Zune, the way of the Windows Phone, the way of the Band, uh, the way of Groove Music Maker uh, and, and Groove for that matter. It's, it's gone. Like, so there's new Edge, which is built on Chromium, which is Google's engine and it's honestly it's a great browser I've been using it for over a year on my Windows 10 PC and on my phones and just everywhere except on my Xbox console even though I asked Microsoft a few weeks back when they were going to replace it and they wouldn't tell me anyways this week we are getting our first eyes on with the browser now this is a big deal because the browsing experience is such a core part of the internet and not being able to do it in a meaningful way on your Xbox console was just such a downer just such a downer so thankfully a, a listener of this channel, Brad Ward Fight, and I promise you that is not my alt account or anything else. Just He just has a great name, just like I do. And uh, he was able to record the browser in action so we can take a little bit of a, you know, a peek under the covers. Now, there's a couple caveats I got to keep in mind. I did edit this video up a little bit because the browser crashed several times. Keep in mind, it's in the Skip Ahead Alpha release channel, which is like the most beta, I believe, of release channel. So, or alphas technically, which is even before beta. Anyways, he also had to stream it to his PC to record because the built-in recording experience on the Xbox console will not record the browser. So, keep that in mind that it's streaming to a PC, so the frames drop... It could be potentially related to that. The crashing could also be part of related to that streaming. You're talking beta stuff. You're talking alpha stuff. So I wanted to give that caveat so that it's a fair representation of what you're about to see. But let's dive in here. So this is the dashboard. You can see the, the new edge icon there. And bada bing, bada boom, you got a proper browser running on the xbox console and the great thing here is that it just looks and feels so familiar right you can see uh he's got his favorites up there you can see his user account profile potentially in the top right uh it's just it's edge as you know it on the desktop and this is just a really really big step in the right direction because if if you go on your console today as long as you're not in skip ahead alpha insider that giant mouthful running this browser you will know how terrible of an experience it is right things just snap and pop and lock and microsoft tried to make it more user friendly but it honestly just felt like more of a user deterrence now there's a couple things to keep in mind as of this recording there is no mouse support that is a big request I don't know if Microsoft is going to do that yet. I should hope that they would because I think that's the next big step. Um, but even just seeing the first glimpses of this browser and people are going to be like, Brad, this, why is this such a big deal? Well, it's such a big deal because the Xbox Series X and S experience is really fast and nimble and it's a great Xbox console and a great and they've done a good job updating the dashboard. It's still not perfect, but they've done a good job. And then you open the browser and you feel like you just jump back in time five, six years because it was just, it was dated. It just wasn't a good experience. Bringing this Edge browser to the Xbox console is really going to elevate those people who use this browser on, at home. And now you might be thinking, but nobody uses this. Well, if you go on to the Reddit thread where this was first starting to being talked about, there's several people in there who mentioned that this is one of their primary ways of browsing the internet. This is a big deal for that demographic. Not everybody has a bunch of PCs at home, and sometimes you need to just watch uh, things on the internet using the Edge browser. And so in that regard, this is going to be a big update. The other exciting thing here is as he jumps through the, the settings and context menus, you can see this is proper edge. This isn't some, or at least it does not appear to be some watered down iteration that only has three of the main features of the browser. This looks like they took the, the Windows 10 version and just dropped it into the Xbox console. Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to be running in a sandbox to help prevent against um, just bad things from happening in the browser. We all know that the browser is a gateway drug to malware potentially. 
Um, and so Microsoft has to help protect against that. And it also probably explains why it took longer to get it over to the, the console. That being said, it is it just is Windows 10 version of Edge, which I think is great. Look, you can even see like the privacy tracking stuff. It's all there. They didn't gut this thing to make it work on the Xbox. They just brought it over. Technically speaking, the Xbox browser or the Xbox dashboard or Xbox itself is a different um, fundamental OS layer, right? It, it is built on uh, like the same architecture of like X64, I believe, but it's not a traditional Windows 10 PC with, uh, with a theme running on top of it in any way. They, it's really optimized for gaming. It's really optimized for the hardware. I also think it's hilarious that you can now run and search for updates like that. Uh, I'll be curious to see actually how this thing is updated. I would have to imagine it's still going to go through the xbox store in some capacity i don't think it's going to be directly updated um, but you can also see that he goes to youtube here which was a major pain point of the old browser especially the navigation like if you've ever tried to use this navigation how it just pops around it was just such a bad a bad feel um and i also think you can uh <laughs> <laughs> they want you to switch browsers. I love Google never change, and they will also probably it wouldn't surprise me if you see like, hey, join YouTube Premium. Uh, but either way, you can see that this functionality does work. It is really hard to understand if the frame rates dropping here are part of the streaming or if the browser is just not up to speed yet. Um, but either way, you can see that it does work. The other interesting thing is that because of this, it should be technically possible to play like Stadia and Luna, which I also find would be hilarious. Or you could go absolutely meta, and once they enable. Um, xCloud in the browser, could you play xCloud in the browser on your Xbox console, which doesn't support cloud gaming yet? It just It's just funny to think about those types of scenarios. And so you can see he goes over to throt.com here, which is where I post up a lot of gaming stuff. Um, and I also hang out too, as well, along with Petri. So big shout out to Brad for Brad Ward fight for doing that. That's a, that's a good look. Um, appreciate that. But seriously, he did a great job of just kind of demoing here what the browser is from a first look experience. I would fully expect things are going to get better, right? This is alpha skip ahead. This is not close to releasing, but thinking about releasing it, when do I expect it to arrive? I hope it honestly arrives in the first half of the year. Remember, Microsoft has moved to a more agile shipping model for the Xbox uh, hard, not hardware, but software from the dashboard experience in the in the updates. They That was a big change for 20 2021 which means that they can ship individual components faster and they don't have to do a complete dashboard update, which is a really, really good update, uh, that, or really good feature and modeling for keeping the Xbox updated faster rather than waiting for these big chunky boy releases that happen all the time. Just take another quick look here. I mean, this is what it's gonna look like on your dashboard. I hope that it arrives soon because this is gonna be just, it, it's, this is one of those heh, edge case scenarios. I didn't intend to do the pun, uh, but it's an edge case scenario. Not everybody uses the browser, but considering how old the other browser was, it was just, it was holding back the Xbox experience from being an entertainment PC in your living room because you would go to browse the web, which is a core component of the internet, and it was just such a bad experience. So by migrating to this and moving this over, slowly but surely, we are going to get a much better browsing experience. I do hope that we do get mouse uh, support, pr a proper mouse support, because that would be the final piece that would enable this browser to be a, a true sort of home theater PC in your living room experience. But without that, using the keyboard or using the controller, it's still not quite there. But this is a big step. This is the first look we've we've gotten our eyes on with it. And I, I really expect Microsoft will continue to update and iterate with the browser. I'm hoping that it honestly has feature parity between the desktop and the Xbox console once they start shipping it, right? Microsoft updates the desktop version about every six-ish weeks, although Google just announced they're going to four weeks, so they might start doing it every four weeks. But anyways, I hope that the browser on the Xbox console stays in relative close parity to the desktop iteration because that will give you a really good edge to edge experience if you will with the browser so as microsoft moves forward with the edge browser and other enhancements coming to the dashboard updates and everything else in the xbox universe hit that subscribe button because the only bs on this channel is me